Hi, this is Emily from It's a Wonderful Wig. I am going to review and show you nine different Tony Bratton short blonde wigs, different styles and different shades of blonde, everything from brown blonde to platinum to light blonde to medium blonde to red blonde in this video. So stay tuned as we get through all nine of these. Um, and I'll talk at the end about sizing and cap construction. I'm just gonna get through showing you the colors and the styles first. So um, first I wanna start out by telling you that I love Tony Bratton wigs. Yeah, I have so many wigs you couldn't even imagine, but I have even gravitated toward the very expensive human hair wigs and the Raquel Welch and the John Renault wigs, but I still gravitate back toward these budget-friendly, basic cap Tony Bratton wigs because they look fantastic, they're, they feel real, the hair is soft, the, all the hair is full on all of them. They go right on, it's a put on and go kind of a thing. They're soft at the front. I love them so much. They always look cute and adorable. So let's start with this. We're looking at light blonde. This is Tony's light blonde and this is called Sensational. I have it on with a cute little headband because it looks a little kind of cute, adorable and retro-ish and curly. I love this wig so much. Take off the headband. You can see it's more straight, sort of feathered on the top and curly on the sides. All you need are your fingers for any of these wigs to use your pinkies to lift hair, move it, fan your fingers upward in all these wigs to put the body in and plump, plump things up a little. I don't use combs, I don't use products. Tony's wigs are heat friendly. Most of them, I think, up to 350 degrees. I've never done that, I don't need to. Um, they're put on and go. I mean, if you want a curly style, get a curly style. If you want a straight style, get a straight style. So you don't really need the heat. That's the benefit of these gorgeous, synthetic, ready to go, salon, perfect wigs. Okay, so this is sensational. And see how this one looks rooted. I believe she has a rooted light blonde and a light blonde because my other light blonde, you don't see this shadowing. So this must've been a rooted blonde. I can't remember, but it looks like it to me since I have dark hair underneath, which you'll see. So it works and it kind of blends in nicely. Um, I also have another video on how to get massive amounts of long or thick hair under a really short wig. I'm going to link that below as well. Okay. So this is again, sensational and light blonde. You can get this in any color. I think it's super cute. I really like it. Great with a headband. Let's move on to this one. This is Confidence. Confidence in light blonde, same color. This is a longer, more bob style. It's a little more straight. And for some reason, I think this one must have been previously owned when I got it, because it's or it's way more stretched out as a plus than the others are. The ear tabs come too low on me, so I'm not gonna be able to keep this one. But I just wanted to show it to you. All of our other plus ones fit perfectly. This one didn't. So this is, it's got this kind of crisscross pattern at the top. You can use a comb or your finger to undo these. And I'll talk about permatease at the end or somewhere in this video as well. So this one is super cute. I mean, because the ear tabs come down too low for me, it's hard for me to tuck it by my ear, but if you have the, you know, you can generally tuck it behind your ear if you have the right size cap. Kind of cute. But you see how this one doesn't, you don't see the rooting. This is why I think this is a non-rooted light blonde and the other is a rooted light blonde. But it does have a kind of a nice beige, cool, with some nice, almost platinum streaks in it. Um, you can use one of these chunky hair clips. I got these at Walmart. They look like this, these big chunky hair clips. I just got these the other day. You can put in big chunky hair clips. And keep this part down if you wanted just on one side or both sides so this is um, just another version of light blonde it's one of the longer styles I do find this a little stringy so you probably could use a paddle brush instead of your fingers to fluff it up a little if you like unless you're gonna tuck it back which is fine so just wanted you to see and this is confidence in light blonde now you have a good feel of what the light blonde looks like um, next I have, this is, all right, we're going to move into a platinum blonde now. All right. This is alluring in platinum blonde. 
alluring. And I just did a video of nine, I think, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this, nine vintage retro wig styles, um, all kinds of different brands, Hairdo, Tony Bratton, and there was, there was, I did include this wig in that, so it's a super fun video if you want to check that out below. Uh, I did include this because it has kind of that Golden Girls retro look going on. In fact, there's also a Tony Bratton dark red, dark, dark red auburn wig in that one that looks kind of 1980s Pat Benatar. You might want to check out that video. All right, so this is called Alluring, and it's platinum blonde. So you can see it looks a lot more white, a lot more cool, not... You don't see any of the yellow or the beige streaks or highlights like you did in the other two. It'll be a little more noticeable in the other bob, the platinum bob one I'll put on next. Um, this is just a fun, full, use your fingers, make it kind of full style. You can put it back like this. Pull it down. I just like it big. I like big hair. I think big hair is fun. It flatters the face it's a fashion trend this one does have a little vintage feel but it doesn't have to you could do the headband in this one and of course you can get this in a different color completely different look so that's the alluring and platinum this one you know you want to just kind of if you need to put a little wave back in it you can you can generally just use your fingers you can give it a little water spray and then let it air dry and any kind of wave or curl will plop right back okay so that's alluring in platinum blonde i also have that's not it that's not it sorry i want to make sure i don't miss any alluring we did that one don't want you guys to miss out on anything. Okay, so let's do Adorable. This is called Adorable. This is also platinum blonde. And this one really is adorable. And I have it also in light brown, which I love. I love, I love this wig. I've worn it multiple times. Okay, this was my first Tony Bratton blonde. My full Tony first blonde. Let me just put this on. a little he's a little you can move the part at the hairline you might have to adjust you know you have to kind of get the part where you want and use your fingers and start the way you want it's super cute um, I actually wear this one with a clip um, I also have some L'Oreal light blonde root spray powder uh, spray which you can put over your dark roots if you're dark and it sticks out. So this is kind of like that confidence, but it's shorter and not quite as stringy. And it's cute, super cute. I'm not sure how well I'm covering the back, so I'm just doing this super fast. So it's adorable. It's got this cute little flippy ends right here. Um, you know, ideally you might wanna move some of this this way. Maybe do more like this. But it's just a real cute, like, tuck behind your ears, adorable, adorable hairstyle. Certainly. You can do the headband with this one. I personally prefer the clip. And I'm just doing these real fast, you guys. You have to use your imagination. But So it's kind of more straight, straight little bob. Super cute. This one would look really nice in black, too, if you want a short, dark black kind of a cropped wig. I would highly recommend that. So that's called adorable. And if you're worried about your dark, if you're dark, anything sticking out, you can just get a darker color. That's completely fine. All right, let's move to, let's move on to, this is, oh, we did confidence. Don't need any redundancy there. Let's move into, um, this is, enchanting in platinum blonde right it's really hard to read that my glasses really hard i like to force myself to try but sometimes i have to question myself okay this is a super short wig super short this is enchanting super short and this is the platinum again okay 
We did, this is our third platinum. We just did that last one, and then we did the kind of Golden Girls looking hairstyle one. Now this one, I really like this. It's a super short, kind of like a little boy cut. Not quite a pixie, it's just a nice, short, easy plop on and go. I had a best friend in high school, eighth grade actually, she was from Sweden. Her name was Crystal. And she had, when I first got this wig and put it on, and I had not thought about her in 35 years, I, I immediately thought of her because her hair was exactly like this short, bright blonde platinum, almost white. It was cut just like this. And it's kind of odd for a girl that age to have hair like this. Covers the nape fine. It's not too short. This is a great, just keep it out of your face look. You can make it bigger. You can use your fingers. Put in a little water. Sorry, it's getting dark outside, so my light tends to turn more like orangey the darker it gets outside because it's um, dinner time. The sun's going down, so it might make things look darker than it is. So this one, you can spray it, give it more volume. I'm not sure a headband would look as good with these shorter ones, but you could. Still kind of cute, huh? I love headbands. It's, they're like the easy, perfect accessory and they're good at hiding permatease around as well. Cute. All right, so this is Platinum Blonde. This was called, I'll just show you the time. That was Enchanting in Platinum Blonde. And I'm just going a little fast because we have a lot of them. I don't want to keep you here all day. Let's move into the Brown Blonde. This one is called Stylishly Savvy, and it's Brown Blonde. I have two here in Brown Blonde. Stylishly Savvy is a medium to light brown with blonde highlights. Perfect if you're brunette and you're not sure you want to fully go blonde. This is a good color to start with, just to brighten your face a little. This one is great. I love this wig. It's longer, a little longer on top than that other one, a little higher, a little more stacked. It's super cute. And you know, again, you always have to use your fingers to put it how you want it. Get a little bodies, use your fingers. It's got a nice nape. Stylishly savvy. I actually wore this in a video. I was wearing it in a video I did, a review of Raquel Welch's Boost, which is a short black wig. Um, I can link that below as well if you'd like. I was wearing this one at the beginning, I think, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so this is the brown blonde, and you see those blonde highlights over the medium and the uh, medium to light brown. And I like this, stylishly savvy. I think it's super cute. This I, I love the short wigs for, I hate hair in my face when I'm cooking, when I'm cleaning the garage or doing chores or doing my painting, my art. I don't like hair in my face. That's why I love short wigs, because you can plop it on, you can look fantastic, and it doesn't go in your face, and you don't have to do anything. And if you get interrupted in the middle of doing chores, and the UPS guy's knocking on the door, which is what happens to me all the time, when I'm in between wigs, usually with my luck, you can just plunk that on, and it looks perfect. All right, that was the brown blonde. Stylishly, stylishly savvy. I have another brown blonde in one that's just a tad bit longer. It's called Casually Chic. And it's real, this was my first Tony Breton wig ever. No, I lied. First Tony Breton wig that I kept, I got, my first Tony Breton wig was Trendsetter. And that one turned out, was early on in my wig days and it looked completely wrong. And I, I freaked out thinking short hair was no good for me because I'm, I'm higher weight, my body size, and I immediately sent it back. Then I got more into Raquel Welch short wigs and I went back to Tony and tried again. And then this was the first Tony Breton wig I got after that. And I have since revised my opinions about short wigs. But this is Casually Chic in Brown Blonde, and I love this one. My son even said, who was freaking out before when he saw me in blonde wigs, that I should have my normal hair be this color. It's, again, this is the Brown Blonde. You see that light medium brown with the blonde highlights. This one's nice, it's kind of beachy, you know? It's like, just like the name, Casually Chic. It looks nice, it looks, I mean, I've never done anything to this wig. It just kind of looks like this out of the box. It looks a little wind-tossed and adorable and cute. 
You can certainly do the headband with this one as well. This one is a little longer. Um, unlike the Confidence Platinum, which was longer, it's kind of more straight and stringy. This one is full and has body, which is the whole point of having permatease. I love permatease because I like full wigs, big hair that have shape and shape my face. So all this riffraff about, oh, permatease is the devil and avoid permatease, I don't buy into any of that. You just have to know what you're doing. If you, if you, you know, without permatease, wigs would be flattened against your head and make you look your head and face pop out and you wouldn't have this adorable style that stylists would use round brushes and products to get that look that's what the permatease does it gives it shape so and you know you can't see any of that there's only a little under here but i think this is adorable this is my one of my favorites like i said my first tony bratton wig after the bad first run of it trendsetter by the way it was still way too sh short short like shorter shorter than that other short was on me and it was just not right Okay, let's do this one because I love this one tremendously. This is the Red Blonde. We're going to look at Red Blonde, and this one is called Salon Select. This cut is quite literally like, I want my hair cut off, I want a short cut, I want it to look like I came right out of the salon, a perfect, short, salon-styled haircut. Okay. Let's just get this right on so you can see. This is the Salon Select in the Red Blonde. Still have the tags on this one. I haven't decided which ones I'm keeping yet or not. All of these are new. I just got in this week. All right, ear tabs lined up. I think this one is so. I'm pretty. I'm keeping this one for sure because. So in this Red Blonde, you see some dark rooting. You see blonde highlights around the face and more red as you go to the back, more like an orange, kind of like a strawberry maybe. With a, I think it's more brassy. Um, this salon select, though, see it's like spiky in the back and the side spiky and then you have this feathering on the side, this perfect feathering and then this nice layered top part up here. And you know, you can, do whatever you want you can spray it if you want to deal with these wispies you can use heat on them you can make this bigger i use my back of my fingers <laughs> to give it body back like this give it some shape back but this really is a really cute uh, um style. it's more warm definitely more warm gold so like I'm wearing pastel colors for your platinum blondes and your light blondes. You're gonna wanna wear pastels like light yellow, light pink, baby blue, mint green, um, lighter colors. When you get into like these, the, the brown blonde, you can wear more um, darker or medium colors. And when you get into the more brassy colors, you're gonna wanna wear maybe some like orange and some fall colors and maybe some browns, maybe a dark, dark purple or magenta would look good. Okay, so that's the salon select which i love this is it's the kind of short hair where like if you had the the, the guts to cut all your hair off go, to go with that shortcut you've always dreamed about but you're afraid to do it because you know it would take a decade to grow your hair back this is the kind of cut you would have and that's what's great about these wigs is you don't have to commit to anything you can keep your hair as it is there's no risk and it looks probably better than your real hair would because Everybody knows that your hair looks best when you first come out of the salon, and after that, it never looks as good again until the next time you go. All right, so this is called Vivacious, and this is the Medium Blonde. Medium Blonde, we have not looked at the Medium Blonde yet. And compared to that Red Blonde, this looks like it has some of those orange brassy undertones, but really, when you hold them side by side, I guess I could show you, if you wanna see side by side, just put it in the box but I'm gonna show you anyway cuz that's the whole reason we're here I'm gonna show you okay so this was the red blonde right now this is the medium blonde see the difference you definitely see the more red here with that blonde and then the side of this blonde looks like this blonde but the rest looks reddish orangish almost all right so medium blonde 
has more of the gold, a little more yellows. The medium blondes are rooted. This is again called vivacious. This one I'm not as fond of personally. I'll show you why in a minute. It's a little like the salon cut, but longer on top. And it has the flyaway, these way like longer pieces up here. These flyaways bug me, but it doesn't have quite as much spikiness in the back. A little longer back here also. Longer back here, but this is the medium blonde. You see the rooting here. You see like the yellow, some beige, some light, maybe highlights. This is a warmer color for sure. I mean, you're, you could still wear it with what I'm wearing, but I'm just saying you might want to go with a darker color. So you could spray some water. Do I have my water going up? If you lift this, see this rooting is nice if you're brunette. Spray it here, wet, it'll keep it upward. Water, you can also use some heat. I prefer water because I don't like the heat. But see how this one's longer than the Salon Select? It's a little bit, I feel like the, these cowlicks bug me, but that might just be this wig. The other, another Salon Select, I'm sorry, another Vivacious may not do that. You could even move them this way. There we go, let's see if we can do it this way. Yeah, so it needs some work, and I can't, this one does. Now, I can not I can say of all the Tony wigs I've ever had, I have never had to do any work, anything on any of them. So I'm not sure if this is a fluke or not on this one. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the medium blonde. Okay, and this is in Vivacious. Is that right? Vivacious? Vivacious. Okay, so I believe... I've showed you them all. Um, I have showed you them all. So now I'm gonna talk to you about the cap. All of her caps are basic caps. They have basic front, but this is so soft. It's like the softest butter or moleskin or felt. It's like super soft. It does not irritate the front of your head at all. It's got this open kind of cap where you can put your fingers through so they're light and airy you're not going to get hot in the summertime okay they have elastic here straps and the plus size I've never had to adjust I can just put them on and go this is the one I was originally wearing this was the curly one I think this is probably my favorite next to the salon select it's probably my favorite cute um so i do have a review of two of her longer wigs called ravishing in a dark red and i think it's a it's either brown gold i don't think it's brown blonde i don't remember it might be similar to the other brown blonde but i have two ravishings and they're longer and i have a video i did of that i can link that below too um but definitely don't miss my Super fun retro video of hairstyles is hilarious. And I have this whole blue makeup and Cinderella brand makeup and um, super fun like Austin Powers outfit. It's, it's kind of a real fun video to make. All right, anyway, this is my Tony Bratton mega review. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you're not sure how to get all your big hair up underneath a short wig, um, in fact, I'm just gonna show you really quickly how much hair I really have. So you can see that I got all of that hair up under that wig. That shortest wig, which was that short blonde one that reminded me of my Swedish friend. I'm gonna show you what all of this hair truly looks like underneath. I'm gonna take it out. I want you to see that it is possible for sure. I got a bobby pin in here or a clip. It's definitely possible to get longer, wild, psychotic hair under a really short wig. This is my natural hair. So you can see that I can do be a brunette and do blondes. I mean, obviously it's turning gray because I haven't dyed it in, my, in a long time. I'm trying to stop dyeing it for a year and it got really thinned out around here because I lost a bunch of hair from surgery, but it's growing in, so I'm just leaving it alone, but I have naturally psychotic curly hair that all my life, I've never been able to do any of the styles I, I do in any of my wigs, but it is possible to get all this hair easily underneath a wig, and I, I put that in a separate video. So 
thanks everybody for watching and I really hope you find a Tony Breton wig that you love. Please let me know which was your favorite.